We move now to the victory for SpaceX launching its giant rocket booster and then catching it out of the air at the launch pad. Trevor Alt is here with the story. Trevor, good morning. This was quite a sight. I mean, it's a pretty amazing video, Whit, and they deployed something that they call Mechazilla. You got to see the video here. We know SpaceX has put a ton of research and resources into making these rocket boosters reusable. And this weekend, they did something that we have never seen before. One of the most impressive games of catch that you will ever see. <laughs> We got a go for booster catch. We can see those chopsticks now. This morning, a major breakthrough and an incredible catch from SpaceX. <laughs> Launching this 400 foot rocket booster over the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. And catching it on the way back down, the launch tower dubbed Mechazilla and its arms called chopsticks reaching out and grabbing the 232 foot booster as it made its controlled descent, gently touching back down right where it lifted off. SpaceX had previously landed some boosters back on the ground without the launch tower hauling them in, though some landings failed or tipped over. Founder Elon Musk called Sunday's historic catch science fiction without the fiction part. We are still going wild over here over this. This could be another major breakthrough for reusable rockets. SpaceX made a big step forward by catching the super heavy booster. They can bring it back down, stack a new Starship on top, and then go to their next mission. And all of this is because they have some pretty big goals. NASA has sent out a mission deadline of September 2026 to get humans back to the moon. And then beyond that, they want to go to Mars. And reusable rockets could be a big part of that. Would make it more affordable, more efficient. Mm, and as you said, an impressive game of catch. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.